Hello and welcome to episode six of Reading Now. This is a series of videos, one through ten. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, that's okay. You can stay here and read with me today. And then later, be sure to look for the other videos in the series. Today we're going to be reading three two-syllable words. And the last word, we're going to draw a picture of it together. Do you like to draw? I love to read and I love to draw. I'm Miss Anne and I am a reading specialist here on YouTube. I also teach small group and one-on-one -on -one tutoring classes in reading and art on OutSchool. Be sure to look for that in the description if you want to link to any of my live classes on OutSchool. Um, and if you don't want that, that's okay. You can stay right here. I have a lot of free videos on YouTube to help you with your reading. If you need any more information, please be sure to check out the description uh, for my email and you can contact me with any questions about reading or reading tutoring. And also to support my videos, because I do like to offer these free videos on YouTube, be sure to like, follow, comment, um, and look and watch all my other videos. All right, let's get started with our first word. Here's the first syllable of the first word. I notice that this syllable ends in O. O is a vowel. Remember the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. When a vowel is the last letter in a syllable, it usually is long and says its name. O. O. Can you read this syllable? You're doing a great job. Let's do it together, left to right. H makes the sound. O. Let's blend it. Ho. This syllable is ho. Let's take a look at our second syllable. Here is the second syllable in our word. And remember, it's a two-syllable word, so this is the last syllable in a word. Can you read this syllable? You're doing a great job. Now let's do it together. We're going to read it left to right. Eh. How do I know that E is making that sound eh? Well, I look at my syllable and I see that E is the only vowel in the syllable and that there is a letter after it that's a consonant. So that means this E is probably short. Eh. So that's how we get t, eh, te. L makes the sound ooh. Let's add that sound in as we blend. Te ooh. Tell. Tell. This syllable is tell. Can we read the whole word? You're doing a great job. Let's be sure to do it together also. So our first syllable is our second syllable is tell. Let's say it without the gap. Hotel. Hotel. Oh, have you ever stayed in a hotel before? Oh, have you ever stayed at a fancy hotel? My favorite hotel is at Disney World. Have you ever been to Disney World? Well, I hope you get to go someday. Let's take a look at our next word. Here's our second word. This is the first syllable. Now, just like with hotel, I notice in this syllable that there's only one vowel. And after it is a consonant. When a vowel is the only vowel and there's a consonant after it, it's probably short. Can you read this syllable? You're doing a great job. Let's sound it out together. Mm, eh. 
Let's blend it. Meh. Meh. Let's add in the last sound. Hmm. Meh. Hmm. Mem. Mem. Let's look at the next syllable. Here's the next syllable and the last syllable in the word. Now, you know, I like to look for the vowels in every syllable. I noticed that this vowel, E, has an R after it. E and R together sound like this. Er, er. Remember, R all by itself sounds like this. Ooh. So E and R together sounds like this. Er. Can you read this syllable? You're doing a great job. Let's read it together. B. That's a B. B. Er. Let's blend it. Burr. This syllable is burr. Can you read the whole word? Doing a great job. Let's do it together. Mem. Burr. Member. Member. Nice work. Let's read our last word. Here's the first syllable of our last word. Can you find the vowel in this syllable? Yes, I is the vowel in this syllable. Are there any more vowels in this syllable? No, I is the only vowel in this syllable. And there is a consonant after it. So that means I is going to probably make it short sound. Do you remember I's short, down, short sound? Yes, I makes the sound I, like itchy, I. Can you read this syllable? You're doing a great job. Let's read it together. K, I. Blend it. K. Add in the t. K. T. Kit. Kit. Nice work. Let's look at the second syllable. Here's the second syllable in this word and the last syllable. Remember to look for the vowel. What's the vowel in this syllable? Every syllable should have a vowel that you see and hear. Yes, E is the vowel in this syllable. Are there any other vowels in this syllable? No, there's no more vowels in this syllable. Does E have a letter after it? Yes, E has a letter after it. It has the letter N. N is a consonant. When a vowel is all by itself, the only vowel in a syllable, and there's a consonant after it, it often makes its short sound. Do you remember E's short sound? Yes, E's short sound is E, eh, like the edge of my card. Edge, E. Eh. Can you read this syllable? You're doing a great job. Let's do it together. T. E. Blend it. T. N. T. N. Ten. Ten. Very good. Can you read the whole word?
You're doing a great job. This word is kit 10. Can you say it like a word? Kitten, kitten. Very good. All right, it's time to draw our kitten today. Oh, are you ready for a little bit of a challenge with our drawing today? We are going to draw a kitten, but I picked, I decided we're going to draw one that's yawning. Are you ready to draw a yawning kitten? <laughs> Let's start with a circle. He's going to be yawning and tilting his head to the side just a little bit. So instead of putting the ears like this, we're going to tilt them and put one here and one here instead. Well, that looks kind of funny. I'm probably going to start over because I drew on mine. Okay. So we won't put them in their, their original places. You can if you want to. I'm going to tilt them. So he looks like he's tilting his head. Right now, if it helps, you can turn it so it looks like it's straight and find the middle part between the two ears and draw a curved line, kind of looks like a frown. That's going to be part of his nose underneath the curved line you're going to draw a U shape, another curved line that looks like the letter U. There's going to be lots of curved lines in this one. So at the center of our U, right there, we're going to draw a curved line that curves out this way and start back at that same spot and curve it out that way. That's going to be the top of his mouth. Let's draw the bottom. So we're going to come straight down and draw a little curved line, like a little shallow smile. And we need to connect it to the top of the mouth. Okay, we're going to connect it from this point, curve down. And from over here, we're going to curve down. <laughs> That's his mouth. He's smiling. Let's put a tongue in there. We're going to do, let me draw it bigger here. So we're going to do a curved line like this inside the mouth and then one start in the middle of that curved line and do another one. All right, so I'm going to put that in here now. So I'm going to do a curved line and then another one. All right. And it kind of looks like a tongue. All right, we need to have his eyes. He's kind of sleepy, so let's do some slits for his eyes. A line. And his little eye because his eyes are closed should we add in our whiskers so i remember this is our nose so we're going to come to the side of the nose and we're going to do one two three and we're going to do the same thing on the other so other side so from the nose we're going to come over here and we're going to do one two three all right that's okay if they're lopsided or a little bit off all right, let's, I'm going to straighten him back out. Because remember, he's yawning, he's crooked. So I'm straightening him back out. And I'm going to come down because he's going to be down here on the floor. All right, so I'm going to draw from the, his neck. I'm going to draw a curved line down. And from the other side of his neck. Don't worry if you have to draw over the whiskers. Curved line down. I'm going to draw one bump, two bump, three bumps for his toes. And on this side, one bump, two bumps, three bumps for his toes. And I'm going to finish his arms by going part of the way up and part of the way up. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video while you draw each step. Now he does need his belly down here. Let's get his belly in there. We're just going to draw a line, curve it a little bit. And we want to add his back. It's going to be back here behind the whiskers. And come down. All right, now we need a tail. So I'm going to start at the bottom 
of that line that we drew for the back. And I'm going to curve it up. And that's kind of a thin tail. We want to make it thicker. So I'm going to curve over like that. And then I'm going to run right next to the first line. And there's our yawning cat. And you can color him any color you want. You can even add some stripes if you want. Okay. He's so cute. You could draw the floor. This might be my favorite drawing that we've done together. Cute little yawning cat. All right. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and in the comments mention how well you're drawing. Tell me about your drawing. Did it come out really well? Um, I'm not sure if you can add pictures. Can you add pictures? I'd love to see a picture of your drawing. If you can't um, add it here, you can always check, look for my email and send me a picture of your drawing. Let me know below in the comments what other words would you like to learn how to read? I would love to take some suggestions and be sure to look for my next video. I'll see you tomorrow. Come and read with me every day.